Unveiled in 2026, South Korea's first super-large aircraft carrier, the Gwanggato the Great, marks a monumental leap in the nation's maritime capabilities and defense strategy. Named after one of Korea's most legendary monarchs, King Gwanggato, known for expanding the territory and influence of the Goguryeo Kingdom, this next-generation carrier is not just a military vessel, it's a symbol of national pride, technological excellence, and South Korea's arrival as a blue-water naval power capable of global reach. Built with cutting-edge technologies, advanced stealth design, and a strategic focus on regional security, this colossal ship redefines the Republic of Korea Navy's ROKN future ambitions and power projection in East Asia. The development of the Gwanggato the Great Aircraft Carrier has been years in the making. South Korea's Ministry of National Defense initiated the CVX program in the early 2020s with the goal of creating a light aircraft carrier capable of operating short takeoff and vertical landing STOVL aircraft such as the F-35B. But as the regional geopolitical climate evolved, especially with rising maritime tensions in the South China Sea, North Korea's missile advancements, and Japan's renewed naval expansion, Seoul made the bold decision to scale up its ambitions. By 2026, the final product unveiled exceeded all initial expectations, a super-large carrier displacing over 70,000 tons, comparable in size to the British HMS Queen Elizabeth but infused with unique Korean technological innovations. The Gwanggato the Great is designed with stealth at its core. Its superstructure features angular lines, radar-absorbing materials, and a low observable flight deck profile to reduce radar cross-section. South Korean shipbuilders, led by Hyundai Heavy Industries and Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, collaborated on the project, integrating automation systems and artificial intelligence-assisted control networks that drastically reduce crew requirements and improve operational efficiency. The result is a vessel that can be run by a lean crew of just over 1,200 personnel, significantly fewer than similar-sized carriers from other nations, while maintaining full combat capability. The flight deck of the Gwanggato the Great is designed to support a versatile air wing that can be rapidly reconfigured depending on mission needs. The ship can accommodate up to 40 aircraft, including F-35B Lightning IIs, advanced rotary drones, AWACS-style helicopters, and future generation unmanned combat air vehicles UCAVs, currently under development by Korean Aerospace Industries Kai. The incorporation of drone technology gives the ship a distinct advantage, its carrier air wing is not limited by human pilots, allowing for extended surveillance, electronic warfare, and strike missions beyond traditional limits. This flexibility positions the Gwanggato as not just a floating airbase, but as a fully integrated digital command and control hub for future warfare. The power plant of the Gwanggato the Great is a hybrid propulsion system combining gas turbines with next-generation electric propulsion units, offering both speed and stealth. Capable of reaching speeds up to 30 knots, the carrier can move swiftly across strategic waters, while its silent electric mode ensures minimal acoustic signature, an essential feature in modern naval operations. The onboard nuclear deterrence infrastructure is not direct, but the vessel can operate alongside South Korea's new fleet of nuclear-powered submarines, forming a formidable task group capable of sustained operations without foreign logistical dependency. The interior of the carrier reflects the sophistication of its design philosophy. Automated logistics systems manage ammunition, food, and spare parts storage using robotic elevators and AI-based tracking systems. The command center, often referred to as the ship's brain, features 360-degree situational awareness through augmented reality displays, data fusion systems, and real-time linkages to satellites and reconnaissance drones. This gives commanders an unprecedented operational picture, integrating